Hey guys, it's your boy Mike Barnes here today. I just wanted to say that, you know, everything needs a balance, you know, just to remind you guys. For an example, you know, if you play video games, you know, you can't be considered someone who's dumb, you know, because everything requires a balance too much. When people say, when parents tell you school is good, like you gotta prioritize school for everything, they're not 100% right. Because although you do, you don't have to put it over everything all the time. See, too much school leads to no social life, no no fun. Um, what else? What else? No relaxation. You know, too much of video games results in you becoming more dumb. Results in your body becoming more tired and worn out. Results in you not being able to learn. Results in you uh, getting bad grades and failing classes and not being successful. Too much sports wears you out. You can pull a muscle, you know. Too much washing your hands kills too much bacteria. Too little washing your hands. Bacteria gets bad bacteria virus in your body and they make you sick. Everything needs a balance. Too much fruits. Like so much sugar, too little fruits, you don't get enough nutrients. You know, what else? Too little vegetables, same thing. Too much vegetables, you get more salt, and some other more chemicals. Too much water, water, I mean too little water, you don't stay hydrated. Too too much water flushes out the gr the good electrolytes in your body. So you want to have a balanced amount of water to drink every single day so that your water flushes out the appropriate things from your body, away from your body, so you can stay healthy. Going out too much is going to result in no education. Going out too little is going to result in no social life, no fun, you know. So everything needs a balance. You can't just do school, even school, even working, you can't do that too much. It's just, you know, it wear, it wears you out. So you need, you need to have a balance in your life. <sighs> you know, balance video games out. Weekends of video games. Weekday school. Weekend social life. For a long time after you finished all of your work and everything, you know, school, work, no matter what, just to everybody, including me. So, this is just the way to live. Eat, um, you can too much processed food obviously causes high cholesterol, we could lead to death, obesity, yeah, leads to obesity, eventually to death, so many other health problems. Too little, <clears throat> nothing bad, because, you know, I don't know, that's the only thing, but, yeah, if you're trying to stay balanced on processed food where you want to enjoy some of your meals, do it, like, once or twice a week, you know, 90%, or just every day, 90% fast, uh, real food, 10% fast food, and then your body can use that food to speed up its metabolism. See, also... When people think that they could lose weight um, just by eating less, it's not exactly true. When you're trying to lose weight, not when you eat less, that disactivate that deactivates the um, the what's it called the master hormone in the body that speeds up metabolism called leptin. And the body, what the body does, is that it goes to starvation mode and it starts eating up your muscles. And then that produces a hormone called ghrelin. So eat too much, you get obese, heart problems, eventually death, obviously. Eat too little, same thing. Can't lose weight. Well, you, you obviously lose a couple of pounds, but your body's going to be tired. It's gonna, you're going to get skinnier in a bad way. Your body's going to start eating up your muscles, and you're going to get weaker. So, yeah, but that wraps it up, guys. Um uh, I, that's it. That's all I want to say. Have balance in your life. Don't put everything at the majority from everything else. 
Don't isolate everything else. Don't focus on just one thing. Don't focus on multiple things. That way your mind will be way more coordinated and more active and healthy and outgoing. And same thing. Too much of... Uh, never mind. I forgot. Same with the, oh, same with this coronavirus. Too much of killing sick animals and not cleaning them at all and cooking them properly to eliminate the viruses so that they don't out they don't um, get people sick no matter how they spread how de- deadly they are. It's obviously possible. Um, that leads to viruses, you know, coronavirus. Coronavirus originated in bats, and it went to, it went to camels, according to scientists. Um, and then it spread to humans because you know, in the wet markets, uh, in a wet market in Wuhan, China, you know, where they have all of these types of exotic animals, and they don't even clean them. You know, you have to clean and cook your animals properly, otherwise you can get sick. If you con- if you come in contact with the dead body, the animals, um, pus, blood, saliva, anything like that, that way, and then if it spreads to another animal, it can mutate and get stronger, and it becomes a new strand, see, that's how, that's how scientists think that it started, it definitely did start from bats, because bats, there's evidence, bats have so many viruses, they, uh, they had, they carried out SARS, they carried out MERS, they carried out Ebola, rabies, they still do. They also carry some other sicknesses. Oh yeah, they also could carry tuberculosis, so yeah, that's crazy. Bats, I don't know, they're like the number one carrier for diseases. Bats, mosquitoes, and yeah. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Peace out.